Hi Pisces, it's Power of Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Pisces, this is going to be your own reading today. If it turns into a love reading, Pisces, we're going to have an extended reading on your person, right? And uh, so far, Pisces, you have uh, the Ghostlands card, right? Showing up with the Goblin. So you're afraid of something here, yeah, but fear is an illusion, right? It's kind of like what we make for ourselves, right? Uh, if we've ever had any time in our life where we go, God, that really, I was really afraid of that, or I thought it was going to be really, really horrible, or something like that. And it turns out to be fine. So then we know that fear is an illusion, right? Yeah, we do. And we have the ghost lands. Uh, it talks about living in the present, living in, living for today. Don't look back anymore. Uh, you know, what's, what's dead is dead. The past is the past. Look forward. I feel like you have a new beginning uh, showing up for yourself here. I do feel like you've been worried, though. Uh, you have this card, the dagger, fears, worry, or what does it say, disappointments, tense situations. Yeah, that's what it says here. And But you have the stork, and this is news of a birth or a new business opportunity. And this is what I mean. You're walking into a new beginning. You are, and uh, that's very cool. Yeah, you're walking into a new beginning, but I don't feel like it's been... Uh, particularly easy uh the journey or the road thus far no so let's see let's get a couple more oracle cards uh for you guys pisces and let's see what we have let's see what we have for pisces we have the card of fighting okay so uh we have this card of you know the dagger tense situations so somebody's fighting experiencing yeah so you're uh you know experiencing some major life changes this goblins card talks about you know choose love Fear is an illusion, right? So it, it this you know the advice card next to the Ghostlands card. This is basically telling you, you you know focus on yourself. This is this is a hard situation. I feel like you're dealing with, but you know, it's kind of like when your mom tells you, I "Hate to bring your mom into it all the time," but uh, our moms tell us kind of like, "Hey, you know, uh, try not to worry so much because." Because they know that fear is an illusion, or they have life experience, so they know that sometimes we're like worrying ourselves too much. Uh, this could be some about somebody you really, really cared for, and this is, you know, the problem, right? Let's see what we have for you, uh, Pisces. Let's see what we have, and the heart of the matter. The chariot card, and this card is... Mm -hmm. It's in the upright? Mm-hmm. So we got to have these cards kind of switched. Let's see what we have. And crossing you, or let's see, the influencing energy is going to be the King of Cups. And this is you, Pisces, right? You're showing up here with the Chariot card. You are, right? So that Chariot card is, you know, the first card. This is about overcoming triumphs, or overcoming obstacles, rather, and triumphing, right? Winning, yeah. And your highest expectations here is... The hangman, you're showing up in the in the upright. I feel like right now you know you're going to come out of this. Like, you have some fears here, but you know you're going to come out of it, which is, you know, very cool. You could be fighting. Fighting for... Fighting for courage. Or you could be actually fighting. They have this man here. He, look at him. He's, uh, you know, clenching his fist. Like he's, you know, getting ready to fight over a pool, t pool table or a pool game. The sun card is coming into... Uh, the sun card is here, Pisces. It's it's unfolding. So you have a three major arcana, and then the card of you. I believe the King of Cups is you here. This is a major reading. is a major change in your life. But something is illuminated for you, or some happiness is unfolding for you. Yeah. Let's see. Let's look at your energies that could be leaving you. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. You're releasing yourself from this. Like you, you might be worried, but you're like, but you're fighting. Like uh, I'm, I'm. This is you, I believe. Like fighting, could be fighting in a relationship, but I feel like you're like fighting for yourself. Yeah. So let's see what else we have. This is coming soon, and the Queen of Wands. Maybe that's the person you want, Aries, Leo, or Sag. How other people are affecting you. The Two of Swords. So somebody could be making you feel like you can't win with that person. Because, you know, it could be. Because for me, in this reading, Ghostlands and the Goblins card, like you've been uh, like in fear in the past, but I feel like you, you could be choosing, right? I feel like you're choosing uh, to move forward in your own life or choosing 
to forget about the past. Right? The Goblin's card can talk about forgiveness. Choose love. Yeah. So I feel like you are like, you, you don't want to look back anymore. I, I feel like you are looking forward, but at the same time, somebody could be making you feel like kind of, well, that's the best thing I could probably do is just to move forward and focus on the here and now. That's what the Ghostlands is about. And then we have how you are affecting other people, the Three of Cups. You could be, you could be uh, possibly, uh, you could be reuniting with somebody. This could be their energy, right? The story here is clear that you're, you're leaving some type of a situation behind. And somebody has a reunion here, I believe. But there could have been maybe just a third party. Let's, con let's continue here. There could have been. I don't know. Okay, so your hopes and fears is the five of pentacles. You could be hoping to leave somebody out. You could be afraid they're leaving you out. Let's see here. Let's look at this uh, reading a little bit closer. And let's look at the heart of the matter. The two of pentacles. You're going back and forth here about... You could be going back and forth about your own victory. You could be thinking of moving. Because the Ghostlands card talks about like the here and now. Like the future. It doesn't really... You can think about tomorrow. That's what the Ghostlands is. You can think about tomorrow... Uh, and you can look forward tomorrow, but you have to live in the here and now. I just feel like you are, uh, you could either be trying to figure out if somebody else is having victory as well. Somebody in your life. Yeah, you could definitely. And the Six of Pentacles. So you have clarity here. You could have clarity unfolding about a third party. You could. Because of this Three of Cups and the Five of. Mm -hmm. I think you think somebody's healing a situation. I feel like you, you are either healing a situation with somebody or your person is. Or somebody, yeah, you're like somebody very close to you here. Let's see. What you want is the hangman is showing up with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. We have the Queen of Wands here, and this could be uh, Aries Leo or Sag. You could be returning to a Sagittarian or your person could be. It's a really interesting reading. And let's see what else we have. Your highest expectations... Uh, you could be thinking here that you you're gonna you're gonna work things out with a Sagittarian, or you could be concerned that your person is working things out with a Sagittarian. It doesn't have to be Sagittarius, but uh, it could be Leo, but with somebody, and you could think that it's faded. You could because we have the Wheel of Fortune here. You could feel like it's divine timing. Uh, yeah, let's see what else we have. Queen of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords reversed. So these energies are leaving you. You could be releasing yourself from like the worries that are here. But this could be your person. And this person could be this Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I just feel like there's there's a third party energy here. Like big time. I don't know if you're in one. You could be walking away from somebody because you might be walking toward a third entity. Or they are either one. Because the players here for me... Uh, we don't have the Queen or the King of Swords in this reading, so this looks like it's the Queen of Pentacles, you, the King of Cups, and then the Queen of Wands, who is right here. So let's see what is coming soon for you. Judgment reversed. Yeah, I feel like you think that your person is reuniting with somebody, right? Or they're making a decision, or you're making a decision against them. Like, it's time for me to move on, possibly. But I feel like you are worried here. Uh, you could be hearing about this person as well getting together with somebody coming soon you could be hearing that judgment can be also a declaration this is what she's doing right she's waking up the dead but it's a declaration uh, it can be a decision and it can be a rebirth and it's here next to the three of cups like a reconciliation or a renewal yeah renewal I should say renewal uh, let's get one more card. Nine of Cups reversed. Did I switch these cards? No. So here you are. This is coming soon. The Nine of Cups reversed. Judgment reversed with the Queen of Wands. It's possible in this reading that somebody, your person, maybe this King of Pentacles person or this Queen of Wands, but they, Pisces, are... One of you guys is reuniting with somebody. Is It has a renewal with somebody. And this could be a delay. It could be you with a Sagittarius. 
or uh, another fire sign. And these are delays where you're going to, you're, this is your wish and you're going to have a renewal with them. But when we see these cards in the reverse, it could be your person who is, uh, your person who is, you know, reuniting with somebody because they're in the reverse, more like a, you know, like this is not your favor because it's in the reverse. The bottom of the deck is the seven of wands. So regardless, <coughs> excuse me, you guys. Regardless, uh, if you are the one who is who has a, a reunion with somebody, you're still you're still like you feel really overwhelmed because it's it's right here, right? Let's see how other people could be affecting you. The two of swords, the four of wands, reverse. So once again, you know this is a story of uh, what I think is a breakup and a renewal, both a breakup and a reunion. Uh, but this could be, you know, you could be feeling like there's no other way I have to break up I have to leave walk away from this person two of swords four of wands reversed because that's how they are affecting you and the three of wands is and you could be walking away because you want to reunite or they you're walking away because you feel like you don't have any power over the situation if they are doing that two of swords like you don't have any control here and how you are affecting this person or other people three of cups king of swords you could be deciding to have a reunion here. Let's get one more card on how you affect other people. Queen of Cups reversed. So you're in the reverse here, and it, you know, here's the thing if you have decided to walk away from somebody to reunite with somebody else, Pisces, you know, you could be making this person kind of like, like, really not like you at all. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say hate, but I mean, if you're in the reverse there about a decision to reunite Three of Cups, you could be making them feel like not good about you at all. Like they could really be thinking, uh, thinking badly about you or have, they could have mean feelings about you, right? And this could also be you, how you are affecting them. It's, it could just be switched where you're showing up in the reverse there. Um, you could be in the reverse because because you're affecting them that way, like you are maybe hurting somebody here for your own reunion, or, you know, you're making them kind of, uh, they know you could feel like that, they know you uh, feel like you're in the reverse, they know you feel affected in a bad way, possibly with the Nine of Cups reversed. So interesting reading because say for example you are the one who's really leaving and this reading it looks the other way but uh, it still could be the other it could it looks like a 60 40 to me yeah you guys know that song by uh, what's his name Teddy Pendergrass uh, he talks about a 50 50 love right which is the best type of love isn't it yeah but in this situation Pisces uh, this could be a 60 40 you know that's how I'm seeing it but you still could be the one, right, uh, who is kind of walking away, and you could feel really bad about it. And this is why you could be affecting other people this way. Queen of Cups reversed. Your hopes and fears is the Five of Pentacles. This could be you're hoping to leave somebody out, or you're afraid they're leaving you out, right? So this is kind of, you guys feel uh, free to switch the characters, right? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Wow. You look like you want a breakup right there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, also you could be fearing this. Once again, you could be fearing, this is your hopes and fears, Ten of Pentacles reversed. So the reading is, only you guys will know, right, like the old hair color, uh, uh, you know, where the lady would use the bottle hair color from the drugstore, and the commercial was, only your hairdresser knows, right? Uh, if you are using, you know, the drugstore dye instead of going to the hairdresser, but if I do it myself, uh, everybody will know. Yeah, they'll be like, ugh, Denise colored her own hair. How horrible. <laughs> In that case, yeah. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. We're going to go to the extended, and it's going to be all about your person, Pisces. We're going to look at the shared energy between you both. We're going to see how they feel about you. We're going to look at their current energy. It's going to be their spread, totally, right? And also, who or what's in their environment, what's on their mind, what they could be hiding, what they want, and what they, and what they fear. Yeah, and also the advice, right? The advice will be for you or your person, d depending on uh, the characters, right? Thank you so much, you guys. And they're all super affordable. The link is below.
Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And wishing you guys a ton of power and light.